Frederica, you have the floor. Three, two, go. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. So we're moving from tech to food tech, actually, because what we do is we produce omega-3s. Um, omega-3 essential fatty acids, it's a huge industry, uh, 35.4 billion US dollar in uh, 2015 at consumer level. And what this mainly is made of is fish oil. Uh, now, fish oil, there's a big problem with that because fish oil is actually one of the economic drivers for overfishing that we see in the oceans and that actually also affect the recreational uh, fishermen such as uh, Jonas Cages for with his fish brain app. Uh, but of course, also it creates famine in, 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 uh, in uh, poor areas and uh, uh, the World Wildlife Fund has stated that half of all life in the oceans is already gone uh, since 30 years ago and uh, 80% of all fish stocks are already fully exploited or overexploited, and this is one of the key drivers for this. Now, the sad thing about fish oil is that apart from being a really bad commodity when it comes in terms of sustainability, it's also really, really bad health-wise because it contains uh, environmental toxins such as PCBs, dioxins, heavy metals that accumulate in the fatty fish and end up in the fish oil. So this is just bad for the planet and it's bad for your health. And the irony of it all is that fish oil or the omega-3s in fish oil are not made by fish. They're actually made by algae that fish get uh, in their diet when they when they eat, you know, other little animals in the ocean. So uh, Omega-3s are not really made from fish, they're made from algae. And I said to myself, okay, it would be much smarter if we went and we could farm algae instead and we take the omega-3s from there. So that's actually what we do. We're not the first one to do it, but we do it in a little bit different way, a more high-tech way. This is actually a picture of our algae farm, uh, which we uh, built out to full industrial scale just last year, right after our IPO. So what you see here is essentially modern precision ag agriculture where we grow tiny little algae to produce the same precious omega-3s as you would find in fish oil. Now we realize that this is a product we could sell as an ingredient, as a commodity, but we said that, well, we're not going to be competitive on that market because we're more expensive than fish oil. However, we have a really, really great story uh, because if you look at consumer trends today, everybody wants to know how is my stuff produced. So we decided we actually go the full vertical to the consumer with selling products consumer products under our own brand, the Simris brand. So here is Simris Algae Omega-3, much better alternative to fish oil, essentially. That's it. All right. So um, it's fascinating. I had never made the connection, Tyler uh, and Federica, that the uh, that algae was actually where fish got Omega-3 from. And uh, that seems like a nice hack, in fact, to not slaughter all these fish to get their oil, uh, but to go to the actual plant source, which I would think would be a much more sustainable process. Now, uh, in your very efficient pitch, a couple things were missing that I would like to know a little bit about. Specifically, I'll start with the technology. When you showed that picture of the farm, which was a very interesting looking photo, it looked like we were looking down a server farm uh, with racks, but I couldn't see because it wasn't head on. Were those just pipes with algae running through them. Take me through the technology of farming algae and the way you're doing it. And is it something defensible or is it something that, you know, has been done for a long time and, you know, is pretty um, standard technology? That's a great question. Would you want me to switch back to that slide so I actually see what we're doing? This is an algae farm. <laughs> it looks almost like a server hole. So okay. what happens is the algae we grow, they're tiny little plants that grow by photosynthesis. That is the capability of plants essentially to harness carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and transform it into these fatty acids with the aid of solar energy coming directly from the sun or LED lighting, as we also have in our farm to help us out, you know, during the winter and, and during nights and so on. So, and the way we do it, it's, it's quite different. So there is actually, you can say, uh, an industry standard for producing omega-3s from algae. We're not the first one producing omega-3s from algae. There was actually an American company called Martech who commercialized this a couple of years, or a decade ago about. So that omega-3 from algae, this company was acquired by DSM, a biotech giant uh, based in the Netherlands for 1.1 billion US dollar. 
uh, just a couple of years ago. So you can see there's really money in this and unicorn potential. Uh, and in any case, the way they grow their algae, they work with algae that are rather like fungi, meaning that they're grown in, in, in closed tanks on sugar. However, we grow our algae directly on sunlight, capturing carbon dioxide, meaning that we have a far more sustainable process, which is also more attractive to the consumer. Because if you are someone who cares about your health and your food, you don't want things that grow in tanks. You want things that grow, you know, in a greenhouse, by sunlight, the natural way, and so on. So this is the way it works. So we're actually the only company globally in the world who grow algae in this way. We have one more competitor based in the U.S., who also grow algae that, that work like plants, but they grow their algae in open raceway ponds. So they don't have the same, uh, I would say, uh, um, control over the environment. So, so uh, what we end up with is a very pure product where we can guarantee that there are absolutely no contaminants or environmental toxins in there, meaning that this is a product which is really, really suitable for, for very sensitive applications for people who really, really care about getting something very, very pure for their health. Hey, everybody. I'm super excited about our latest partner on This Week in Startups. It's called Cisco Spark from Cisco. You know Cisco. Of course you know Cisco. Cisco Spark is a new meeting platform and a communication platform for teams. And we're using it here at This Week in Startups, and it is life-changing. It can make working together so easy, so pleasant. And in this package, for one low price of free, you get, yes, that's right, free, you get video meetings, team messaging, like chat, you know how that works, digital whiteboarding, I'm going to get into that in a minute, file sharing and calling, all of this together in one secure app that works on any of your devices, Android, tablet, iPad, iPhone, desktop, you get the idea, and it's the fastest way to host and join meetings, and it works with industry-leading video systems like, ah uh, yes, the Cisco Spark Board, I have the Cisco Spark Board, and this is a touch-based, all-in-one device, where literally, I click and I say, everybody who's in this room, you know, like a chat room, everybody in this Cisco Spark room, I want you to join this video conference. Somebody could be at home, another person could be in a hotel or on the road, on their phone, on the BART. Two people could be in a New York office, two people could be in the San Francisco office. All of a sudden, we're all in one space on the Cisco Spark board with all of our files from that chat room. And we can then pick an image like we did for the launch festival and start drawing on it and saying, hey, let's move these tables here. It is amazing. And the Cisco Spark board comes in 55 inches or 70 inches. It's kind of like an all-in-one touchscreen whiteboard camera with amazing microphones where if you're in the back of the room, it picks you up perfectly. And the video quality, it makes you feel like you're in the same room without having to spend what used to be, I think, a quarter million dollars or $50,000 to outfit a room. You can now do it for low thousands of dollars. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I love my Cisco Spark Board. And on this very program, This Week in Startups, we're going to start putting Cisco Spark Boards in other cities so that entrepreneurs and investors from, say, New York, Los Angeles, maybe London, Berlin, uh, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Seoul, can then video conference into the show. And we can start doing remotes with startups from around the world. How exciting is that? All powered by Cisco Spark and the Cisco Spark board. If you want to see all this exciting stuff and try the software, go to ciscospark.com, ciscospark.com to learn more and sign up for free. Thanks for joining the team, Cisco. Let's get back to this amazing program. 